faux sleeves. Yeah, don't tell anyone about the other sleeve though. That I took it out by mistake. Or did I? So this is what I will be working on. And yes, I am struggling. <laughs> I am struggling to think about what I'm going to do with this. I knew, I knew I'd come to this point. I really did. I knew that I'd come to a point where I think, oh my gosh, am I going to do this video? Yes or no? And I'm struggling. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> but I don't know. You know. When you are struggling with a project, the best thing to always look for is a feature in the particular garment that you like and you want to keep. So for me, it is the buttons, which is hidden behind this flounce here. And it's got a, a little bit of an unusual fastening because the buttons are not on the outside, they're actually on the inside of the garment. There. And it has rouleau loops that I love as well. That's a nice feature. So, that's what I like. That's what I need to work with. Um, and that's what's let's see what happens it's going to be an asymmetrical top from what i'm thinking at the moment i don't know do i know yes i know <laughs> okay this is going to be the front of this top this new top for sure because i just love that detail especially the buttons and the ruler loop feature i like that so the best thing to me that for me to then do is to start cutting and remove the sleeves. I want the sleeve. I don't think I, I might be able to get most of it in this project, but let's see how we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away this center, the front section first before I cut away the sleeves. And then let's work with that and see what that looks like. See what that looks like. I think that'd be the best thing for me to do. Okay, one minute. I'm just thinking. <laughs> um, just making sure. Okay, I thought. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut the front and I'm going to bring you down so you can see. <laughs> okay. I am going to cut the front section away. Right, so I'm working on the inside, keeping the seam to the front. Let's cut the other side. Let me just think that I want to cut the sleeve off altogether.
I'm here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, I definitely think you should consider subscribing. to one side and it's focused just on the front. Okay, so this is the detail that I like. I think that is so cute. These Rulo loops. Yeah. And the full detail as well. That looks nice. Now this is what I'm thinking. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks nice. Even with the loops. Yeah, that's definitely a yes as part of this design. Part of this refashion. It's quite a short top, so I have to add some to the bottom. It's got a, we've got a dart, two darts running through here. <laughs> I seem to just come from the right place. So we've got a dart here. This this dart would have been the dart from the underarm. And then we've got the dart from the apex down to the waistline, which is coming across, across my chest, or across my breast area. That looks nice, actually. Um, I, think, I think I can work with that. I like that. So that means we're going to have a bit of hip exposure here. So you can see it's quite short, isn't it? Right. So I like that. That is cute. I need to take my tap top off and then I can work with it better. But this is going to be the starting point. Yeah, I like that. Okay. This is a starting point. Now we need to think. So this is going to be the lower section. And then we need to think this section being the top. Oh no. No. No, I'm not liking that. No. You know what I'm thinking? That this has to be at the back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Pins. Needle and thread, let's do some basting and let's see what happens. Okay, we have, yes, said we. <laughs> we have decided that we're going to go with this, haven't we? <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to stick with this. So this is going to be the lower section of the front and then we're going to get the other front and that's going to go around to the back because we like the frill detail. Yeah, right, okay. So that means we're going to have to have a side seam here. So let's pin and baste a new side seam. A pin there and a pin here. And get some thread. Need on thread.
So this is going to be the front. I'm happy with that. This is going to be the back. But I want the buttons to be exposed though. Yeah, I think the button need to be the buttons need to be exposed. Yeah, they do, don't they? Right, okay. So there's a row of stitching, so I'm going to take that row of stitching out and then that should hopefully, yeah, that will open up that section so you can actually see button detail. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So just put another stitch there for now. Move that, get my seam ripper and start I'm ripping this seam. So I'm going to take that row of stitching out and then it will enable the buttons to be exposed. It won't be aligned at the side seam, you know, the flounce won't be level, but that's fine, that's okay because it's like the feature of the buttons, I think it should be shown. So I want that to be exposed, that means I'm going to have to bring that down a little bit. Like that, so that's the situation. That's what it's going to be like. Let me show you. So you're going to get this still hanging over. I've got to tack it. Just tack it into place about there. But you're going to get one higher. The front's going to be higher than the back. But that's okay, that's fine. I mean, it's going to be at the underarm anyway, so you won't really be able to tell. But it's nice to have the buttons exposed. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's try this on. I'm just going to, yeah, try it on and pin. So I've pinned and based the side seam again. Let's quickly open that out so we can see what's happening that's a new side seam it's going to be the new front and that's going to be the new back so all that means is that I'm going to have to tap that in place so that we've got these buttons exposed at the back and we've got this nice feature that's happening here at the front actually should I because I want that to be against a skin. No, I was thinking, because I can actually take the line of stitching out here as well, but it means this will be lost, the ruler, once it's resting on the, on the spacing here. So no, no, I like it like this, this is nice. So let's try this on, see what else I need to do to it <laughs> so that it becomes a wearable garment. Okay, there's the side seam. I'm going to put it against me like so. Put my arm, lock my arm in position. And bring this across. I just want it to. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, it, these loops to be sticking up. Yeah, that's nice. And then we've got this arch that's happening here. 
So I'll put my arm down there. Make sure you've got lots and lots of safety pins. So I've got a safety pin that I'm going to put here so that I know that it's at the underarm. And I'm happy with the positioning for that. Okay. And it's just getting this now to be lying flat here. So I'm going to put a safety pin here. This is a thing when you're working on yourself, isn't it? It's just that little bit more difficult. Yeah. So I want to work around the back. And bring it around me like so, so you can see the buttons. Hopefully. Where are the buttons? There we go. Okay, that feels, that feels secure now. Okay. That's a nice shape there. If you're going to do this, then I would say just definitely just be in a camisole or even your bra because it's quite a fitted top. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, but that looks nice. I like that. Okay. And the back's okay, isn't it? I think the back just needs to be pulled up a bit more. It just feels right there. I need to like the button detail. It's this arch now that we have to figure out, isn't it? What is going to be going into this section here. I definitely want it to be a top that I'm going to be pulling it over my head, I think. I just had an idea that I could actually have the flounce or the sleeve in this section here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So, I'm going to get another pin and pin those two together. this detail here you know the ruler loops to sticking up across that's really nice and the back needs to be a bit more firmer so I'm going to take that pin out again because I can feel it not being very stable yeah it's better Yeah, that's better. Let's look at those buttons. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so that then means, just make sure that I've got the side seam that's happening there. That's pretty. That is pretty. 
Okay. So I'm just getting the back and what I'm thinking is this arch here, I could put this flounce in the arch, couldn't I? Or even the sleeve and then sew that around Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like that idea, I think that will work. Yeah. Okay. And then we've still got quite a lot of this left over to use, which I'm going to use to lengthen the rest of the top. And also I need to, right, so let's backtrack for a minute. Okay, we know that we are going to be using the top part of the sleeve in this section here and we're going to get one flounce and we're going to put that around the sleeve so there will be a flounce sticking out at this side. So the design is going to be asymmetrical, that is fine. Um, let me just cut that sleeve away now so I can show you what I'm going to do with the top section of the back. So this is going to be the top section to the front. So it's going to be, that's going to be more than half, isn't it? So I'm just going to have, this section is going to be so cute. So it's going to be, this is going to be the neckline. The back neck is going to be the front neckline. And I'm going to sew a little bit of it there. And, A little bit of it there. Right, I've just got this other idea as well now where I could have cut the sleeves on and then just One sleep, couldn't I? <gasps> yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, one sleeve. Okay. I had this twisting that's going on there, but it's too much work. It's too much, too much for me to say right now. No, no, no. Um. So yeah, and then that detail comes there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work, won't it? Yes. going to work even though if I keep both sleeves this is going to work isn't it oh do bear with me I'm just I'm just thinking through this process and I think I would like to share this with you to see how difficult it can be when you're struggling um I wouldn't even use the word when you're struggling it's when you're in that creative mindset I need to say that when you're in that creative mindset rather than say that I'm struggling when I'm struggling I'll let you know that I'm really struggling but no, it's about being a creative mindset, but I like that. Oh, yes! 
Yeah, I think I've got it. So, it is going to be a case of doing it like that. I still want the flounce down. Oh, I still want a flounce here though. But we shall see. I'm going to keep this one sleeve on for now and let's see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Um, it happens. So I am actually going to sew the sleeve back on. <laughs> yes, I am. It's sewn on, I bet you cannot tell which one is the one that I cut off and then reattached. You can't tell. You may be able to tell if you turn it that way though. <laughs> okay, so I just slipped this off. It's, it is stretched by the way, the stretch below. It does stretch, so that's the side seam. And it's going to be the other side seam with the arch in place. So this is where the new seam is going to be and using the pin that has been indicated for going straight down. I want to try and see if I can save some of this so um, that needs to be cut away and there's also some on the other side as well. And maybe I'll be able to, oh, I don't, yeah, it's not a lot though. But that's going to be the new the next, the other seam allowance, which is quite short. And then, yeah, we need to attach that to the sleeve section, the top section. Okay, let's, let's, ins let's insert the sleeve, put the sleeve back on, and then we'll come back to this. So we know this is going to be the front section. I might even arch this actually, because that will match with the side seam, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So that means I'll only have this amount to play with for the back and maybe a bit for the front. But I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to come down about 2.5 centimetres here and then slightly arch it. And then I'll probably have to get some other fabric to make a facing for it. But that's going to be the, the best solution because I need to think about how I'm going to attach the back, some of this on the back area. But let's just work on doing an arch across here first. So I've drawn in my arch, I use chalk, just use whatever marker you prefer, just drew in a straight line and cut. All right, so the top section is more or less done. I don't need to interfere with that, uh, apart from when I'm going to attach it to the lower section. This is what's left over and I want to focus on this for the moment. Right, so this is what is left over. And I've got that curved section in the side seam of the top. And then I've got an open back that I need to be able to make sure that it stays on my body. And I've got to get what I can out of this. If we could, if I could actually I'd use, I think I'd use most of this. I don't think I'll end up using all of it. Right, okay. So I think I'm going to not think about this one just yet. I think I'm going to just focus on the side seam first, sewing that, and then putting trying it on again and then working and then putting the front 
the new front which used to be the back and see what happens so I'm working on the side seam this pin is the indicator for the side seam just going to use my pins as a marker Okay, and then for the under section, take that pin out. Put another pin here. Do I have another pin? Yeah, I do have another safety pin in here, don't I? Yep. Move that safety pin. Okay. Okay, so I just need to put another pin here and one more just here so it would just be a case of them just matching see so this is a yeah this is a glass that I need to cut away. Mm. And it's just in case it's matching those pins together, basting and sewing, and then I've got the other side seam. But before we get to that stage, we need to think about what we're going to do with the rest of this flounce. So this is this section here that's going to be waste. So I want to save this, what's left of the flounce here. And maybe what's left of here can use in that bit. And the same with this as well, isn't it? So I've got two little bits here <laughs> that I may be able to just use in that section. So, okay, let's do this. So, I've just cut. There. That's going to be a waste. I actually may be able to trap that into the side seam actually. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah. I'll definitely do that. And I'll just repeat it on the other side. So I've sewn the edges of the sheer fabric and just basting it into the seam allowance. Just remove those pins. Done the same on the same. I've done the same on the other side, and this is the side seam. What's left over, which is this large piece, how do that you know, you use these, these small pieces? And the new front, see what that looks like. Okay, it's the following day and I've still got a lot of work to do, but it's looking exciting, it really is. 
So let's do just a little bit of a recap. Okay, so I've got this section here with the sleeves still attached. Both sleeves. Yeah, don't tell anyone about the other sleeve though. That I took it out by mistake. Or did I? Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got that section in which we need to focus on in order to make the back the front and then this is what is left over from the front and then where I left you was the seam for the bottom half of this top so yes yeah, so I just need to sew that seam into place I give myself quite a big seam allowance because it just gives me an opportunity to um, figure out how tight I'm going to have it because remember it is it's not got no bone it, it hasn't got any bone in, in there so I'm gonna have to figure out a way in order to keep it attached to my body so I'm going to take the pins out so straight down and then what will I do then then we'll work on the top section because we need to make sure that the next section of this is going to be quite high because it is the back so I'm going to have to cut that down give myself a new net neckline to this and see how these sleeves are going to stay on because there's no back to it okay so I'm going to sew down the seam of that it's just a straight seam So it's just straight down. You can, if you wanted to, um, put a zip in the side as well. But it's stretchy. It's just going to be a pullover top. So that there is that there is that option. So I'm going to sew down the seam on that, and then we're going to work on this one. I've taken off my jacket and I've put the front top section on. Just show you the back, so as you can see. So, this neck line is too high. It really is just too high. So I need to cut it down. So I'll just get my sleeves in position. On that side. And just roughly, so I'm going to put a pin here. Which I'll do. I think that'll be okay. It's not going to take too much of it. It'll have to, it'll have to be gradual. That's okay. That's okay, actually. Now it's just figuring out how I, I. It's more likely going to be a tie that'll come here and here, you know, to keep it in place and then the back because that will droop down because there's no boning there's no structure in it so i should think of something for that one it'd probably be a long thin possibly depends on how much fabric is going to be left because i need to do a facing for here the front because i want that to have a nice shape to it so i'm going to have to make sure i've got enough fabric so I'm going to recut, recut. I'm going to cut a new front neckline where I've indicated with the pin, and then I'm also going to cut a facing for this section here out of that large piece of fabric, and then see what's left over from that. See if I can make some kind of bands, some kind of a tie for the shoulders here, and also for the back, and then I will be more or less finished. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's go. So this is where the neckline is. I'm going to fold it in half and give myself some seam allowance. Yeah, that looks a lot better. 
Okay, let's give that a try. Okay. Yeah, that's, yes, that feels comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Remember when you are trying this on, just make sure that you have, you know, your minimum amount of clothing on, <laughs> basically. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to cut the facing for this, for the arch here. See what's left over. I might do some for the neck if there's enough left over. But let's see. Okay. So I folded the spare piece that is left over in half. And I've also folded the top section in half as well and added some pins. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to add the facing onto the front. I'm going to add some um, stretch into facing, or should I just use bias on the seam? I'm just going to use bias tape on the seam for this one. Put some bias strip here, so I'm just going to sew that into place. This will help stabilise it and keep the shape. So I have sewn the facing and the ends and I've also sewn the bias to the neckline. So all I need to, I've hand sewn that, I haven't hand sewn this as yet. Um, let me see. So this is basically ready now to be put onto the bottom part of this top. And then it's just figuring how it's going to stay on my shoulders. It's gonna be the next thing, isn't it? So yeah, it's nice and neat. So if want, I just need to sew this section, like I said, by hand. But it's staying like that just for now. So it is more or less finished and it's going to need ties. Okay, let's get the front, the, the lower section. That's the back, it's got the buttons on. There we go. So like that looks nice, doesn't it? Right, so I'll be getting these ends here will be attached to the side going slightly towards the back. Let's put a pin in for now. And do the same on the opposite side. And put a pin in. So that, that that's quite secure now. So we know this will be attached to side seams quite securely. And then it's just the neck which needs to have ties so that it stays on my shoulders. And then perhaps, let's turn it around to the back. So once I've got ties on here, I may need another strip just to hold the back in place 
and then it will be done. So I'm going to try it on. I'm going to just face these, tap these into position, the side seams, the top section to the bottom section so that should be quite secure when I put it on and then we just need to figure out um well we don't have to figure out um, we're going to put strips on here to make ties let me show you how I've done that so here we are so this is the spare that's left so I'm going to cut a um, couple of strips out one two for the front and then one for the back so I'm just going to cut and then I'll try it on and then we're almost completed with this project I have Come one strip is the second one. This is going to be a tie, I should say, for the back. Actually, those lines look all right. They're not quite nice, actually. So they need to be pressed, and then I've got this one that's going to be for the back. Somehow, so we'll do with that one later.